Yay, we found some pumpkins. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Hi everyone, my name is Celine and this is Daniel and today we are at the pumpkin patch and we're looking for the perfect pumpkin to carve into a jack-o-lantern. We will take you through the steps to make it efficient and fun. Here we go. Yay, got a pumpkin, it's perfect. I'm gonna carve it. And yes, we are going to carve it, but first we're going to make a stencil in Photoshop. So here I am in Photoshop. I have the photo of the pumpkin on one layer and on the second layer I am drawing and sketching my first sketch here. I'm using the brush tool to do this. You can adjust the thickness in the settings. And when I'm done, I can see that I'm not quite happy with it. I'm going to start again. This is what I like about Photoshop. I like to be able to see my ideas and see what's not working. So I encourage you to just go for it. You don't need to have something thought out. Just go for it, try new things, add eyelashes, add a different shaped eye that you've, that you've never seen before. If you don't like it, you can always change it. it. Nothing is permanent and it allows you to be free and creative. I added eyelashes and I liked these eyes and I thought it was kind of feminine spooky, but you let me know what you think. And here is Daniel's design. As you can see, he copied the eye and reversed it on the other side so he wouldn't have to do it twice. And then he drew the shape of the mouth and then filled the teeth so they were inside that shape and then erased the outline. That's another hack that you can do. Um, it's an art hack. And then he darkened it and so he could see what that would look like when it's lit up. And here's the final design. Then we printed the stencil design out and we're using an X-Acto knife to cut the inside out to create that stencil. You can do this on a magazine or cardboard. Tape the stencil onto the pumpkin and use a thick pen, not a Sharpie, as a Sharpie will not come off the pumpkin as easily as you need it to. How satisfying. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts, taking the top off the pumpkin and looking inside and seeing all the seeds and that stringy goo inside the pumpkins. Such a nice reminder that Halloween is almost here and that we are in the fall. You can save your seeds and toast them later. I always love to do that and they're very nutritious for you so I recommend it. Now we're ready to carve. A serrated knife works best, but use what you have in your home. Remember the design is just a guide. You can always adjust and change as you go. Remember to have fun and be creative and enjoy this time with your family and friends. For the eyelashes, we removed the outer pumpkin peel only. We didn't pierce it all the way through. And we also thinned out the inner pumpkin behind the eyelashes. When you're 
done carving the pumpkin, wipe off the excess pen marks with rubbing alcohol. Add in a tea light or small candle and your jack-o'-lantern is complete. Thank you.